Alright you guys, welcome to part 2 of the trike build. Thanks for watching, I'm not going to make you wait, so let's just get into it. Keep building this thing. Alright, a little bit more progress. Got the um, subframe bent back up to where it needs to be. See, it's nice and straight now. I use the factory jack from Kylie's car. I was able to just put some supports across the swing arm and bent it right up. Put the... Um, Whatever the heck they call this stupid thing they give you from the factory to use your jack, just put it in the drill. I made it fast and easy. So now I want to start working on the front end. Cool, we have the handlebars on, the new risers, uh, and the 10 inch front wheel. Was able to work just fine. Um, looks so much better, in my opinion, already. With the taller bars, the 10 inch front wheel, uh, I've got the, um, let's see, the brake caliper bolted on there. So now that the bars are on there, I can bolt the master cylinder up there once I get the uh, new grips on there. The throttle is giving me some problems. I, I have an extended cable. Um, problem I'm running into is it's not quite, the actual cable is not quite long enough. It's not sticking out far enough. Um, it's just barely there. So I'm gonna get it all bolted up and see if I can get it to work. Um, but I may have to wait till Monday and take it to Terry Cable, have him make me something custom. So. Either way, we'll figure it out, but I'm really hoping I can get a test ride going. Okay, I am running into a ton of throttle cable problems. Um, I'm just going to end up... Uh, going to Terry Cable and having them make me a custom one because nothing I have is going to work. So basically, the inner cable is too short, and to get it to hook up to the throttle tube and you know be all fully hooked up, it 
pretty much cranks it to at least half throttle so obviously that doesn't work um, the engine is smoking a ton I don't know why um, it's way more than if it was just some oil in the exhaust burning off so um, probably gonna have to take it in and see what's going on valve adjustment or um, bad rings on the piston who knows so this is a secondhand motor that we weren't even really able to test run when we bought the ATC it was with so um, and he didn't care because he was gonna pull it out put, put a bigger motor in anyway so um, if I have to put a little money into it that's fine if it's gonna be a ton then I'll just pull it and you know throw a Parada 140 on there or something so I'll set up the time lapse again and just keep plugging away we can at least get this thing to a point where we'll see what it looks like all finished up so that'll be cool part of any pit bike cup holder. Alright, so I've got this thing almost wrapped up. Um, last thing I need to do for today anyways is um, put the foot pegs on what I'm gonna have to do to work with the rear disc brake is uh, basically I'm gonna cut this hoop and flip it because the peg come right through here and even if it was taller it would still hit them when you push it down so if I just flip it, it should work fine and then um, even though the motor might be blown or I might blow it from test riding and I don't think I can resist I want to ride this thing so bad so I'll work on that and then we'll see. I'll hopefully take it for a ride down the street real quick. Okay, there she is, out in the sun, all three wheels, pretty much ready to go. Besides a pretty much blown motor and no uh, throttle tube. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sketchy and go ahead and give it a test ride because I can't wait any longer. There's the rear brake lever. I ended up having to extend it in the engine half and flip the hoop, it works fine. So unfortunately, because it's a little bit longer, it goes uh, kind of far down, but you know, it is what it is. Luckily we've got front and rear brakes, so we're good to go. And then the last other thing is that I need to bring my compressor over and uh, use it to get my grip all the way on there, because that's all I could, could get without it. So see if I can do a quick little sketchy ride up and down the street.
All right, well, there it is. It's smoking like crazy, but it works. Definitely, that sound you're probably hearing is the chain. Um, it's a little bit too long, so I got a half link for it, which should take care of the slack, and then it won't rattle. But I forgot to put the chain guide on, so it was just slapping over there, so no big deal. Um, leaking a little bit of gas from the brand new carb, so I'll replace this O-ring and see what happens. Um, yeah, trim that for this. Also, I keep forgetting to mention, these are gonna get cut. I have um, axle collars right there so to hold the wheel on, so yeah, these are just gonna get cut flush, and then I'll paint them black, so. Yep, pretty cool. It works pretty good. Brakes work. Power feels good. Pretty much same to the stock 70, I would imagine. So, pretty pumped on this thing. Once I get it all dialed in and everything, I'll do a proper test ride video. We'll take it out to the track or wherever I can get it on dirt and see what it actually does. But until next time, thanks for watching, you guys. See you later.